Hi, John Ason, Director of Instruction down here at 3D Golf Performance. And we're discussing with you a process to rid you of your slice, to get rid of any of that left to right spin for us right handers that might be causing you a lot of you know, bad shots in the game of golf. And probably about 90% of all golfers slice the ball, and probably within that 90 percentile, most golfers deliver the face open. And that's the start of the whole slicing motion that takes place. So as soon as that face is delivered in an open condition, my swing habits may um, adjust a little bit to try to hit the ball straighter, but really we're just you know, making these compensations and getting sort of inconsistent results or superficial results and certainly losing um, a lot of the, the club ball compression that you can get from a square club face. So obviously the grip will, will influence this club face probably the most right directly at the beginning of the swing. And then with that, the other things like alignments and transition and things like that release will all help to square the face. But I want to make sure you understand the appropriate grip. So when you're looking down at your club face, and usually you have a logo placement on your grips, if not, just get the center line and make sure that when you put your left hand on, it's far enough in the root of the fingers, somewhat diagonal across the fingertips to the, the final position where the pinky meets the palm and then it goes out to the big knuckle in your forefinger and when you wrap that around your heel pad ideally is on top so that the hinging of the hand is, is easily done but at the same time it might feel like it's going to twist the club face a little bit shut so it's a stronger position to help encourage a more closing club face to begin with and we call it the three knuckle position because I can see from straight down here when I'm holding the club out my first three knuckles, the big knuckles here on my left hand. The other important part is that the V stays compact here between your thumb and forefinger but my thumb is more to the right side of the shaft so it's definitely down the right side of the logo golf pride. All right. Again, when I hinge my wrist, I might see a little bit of the face toe in like that. Just a little bit. The right hand goes on so that the lifeline of your right hand is right against the side of your glove thumb. And then when I close it down, again, it's somewhat diagonally across my fingers and I want to make sure that the big knuckle, the base knuckle of my forefinger is behind the sweet spot of the club face. All right. So this is a stronger position. We, we call it a three knuckle position and it will encourage more face rotation. This will allow us to work a little bit on the alignments to set up the rest of this step-by-step -step process for you to eliminate this slice forever. We want to get rid of that slice for all of you. So as I make this setup and I get my hands on there, I really feel like the face is going to be able to rotate closed. And therefore I can hit that nice little draw spin shot and actually I still got it to a square position, 0.2 open, but it was closing to my rightward path, which is really important that my swing path can go to the right because I know the face is going to be squaring or closing as opposed to me having an open face and having to feel like I have to swing left to make it go to my target. So I'll try that again, really rotate it over and listen, experiment with this. Uh, there's a lot of great discovery in golf on your own time when you can turn that face a little bit closed or a little stronger, go ahead.
can always move it back and then as you go through the process we'll get these alignments right but this should feel like you can really close the face so you might feel like it's okay to swing to the right to try to keep the face from closing too early. And again, that's exactly what I did there. I trusted it. The face closed to the path, but it was still three degrees open to the target. 11 degrees to the right was my path, and three degrees to the right was my club face, so that means the difference between the two is eight degrees my club face was closed to the direction my club head was, was swinging. So that's the important marriage you're trying to get in this process to go from slicing to maybe hooking before you go to a, a straighter draw shot. So get that three knuckle grip worked out. Do a little bit of your own discovery to strengthen it, maybe slightly weaken it but try to get that feel of that club face closing to the path. Good luck with this, good golfing, and remember, enjoy the hit.